Hi everybody, it's James here from the Anvil. Just want to do a quick video about the news that's just broken about Winston Reid. Um, what's happened is that West Ham United and Winston Reid have agreed to mutually part ways, thus ending his 11-year tenure at the club. Um, Reid's been a fantastic player for West Ham over the years and his loyalty and his commitment to the club certainly can't be questioned. Um... He's had injury problems over the last three years, though, and um, let away from the financial cost of things and the fact that it, the club has still paid a lot of his wages. He hasn't played for the club since March 2018. And um, given that we've got Kurt Zuma now in the team and other centre-backs, I think it's the right time for Winston Reid to move on. Um, he's also 31 years old, so he's not getting any younger. And he's also got, um, I think now, to look for opportunities elsewhere. But he spent 11 years at West Ham, and he's been an incredible servant for the club, like I said. Scored some memorable goals in the process, not at least um, the final ever goal at the bowling ground and scoring in that infamous 3-0 win against Tottenham in 2013. Um, remember him scoring the last-minute goal against Sunderland in 2016 as well, at home. And uh, for a centre-back, he was very clinical from set-pieces. He always was scoring goals of his head or with his foot. And um, he was just very proud to wear claret and blue. I think that's another thing as well about Winston Reid. He was a very proud hammer. He was the first uh, New Zealander to represent West Ham as well. So he was representing his country at, at the same time. He did that in a very good light too. Um, my overall thoughts today is that I actually am quite sad to see him go. I've just watched a video on Twitter of a tribute to Winston Reid. And um, got a little bit emotional nearly because uh, he's put so much into this club. And um, so much so that he's become one of my favourite all-time West Ham players, as is the case of a lot of other people. Um, when I did my interview of my Hammers Eleven, I actually mentioned Winston Reid because of how loyal he was to West Ham and how uh, devout he was to the club and how he was a player who was always appreciated by the fans. Solid, solid defender, too. And uh, he's one of those players, like, on the... Same level as Andy Carroll in the sense that what could they have been if they didn't get injured? Players like, you know, Carroll and Ashton. What could they have been if they didn't get injured? Winston Reid would probably still be playing for the club today and would be still doing really well had he not got hurt in 2018. So it's one of those what ifs and but this, that and the other kind of thing. And um, look... He's been at West Ham 11 years and I do think it is time for him to move on. I'm sure there's plenty of other footballing opportunities for him out there, but West Ham's still going to be in his heart. He's still going to have the club in him for the rest of his life and it's been a great experience for him here at West Ham. He got to experience highs, lows, relegation battles, um, fans chanting his name, fans travelling from New Zealand to London to watch him and also publicising West Ham as well to uh, Kiwi Hammers. So... My final message to him is, Winston, thank you very much for everything you've done for West Ham United. You're one of my favourite players of all time. You're a great defender, a great player, a great guy. And although it's sad to see you go, it's the right time for you to leave. And um, we will miss you here at West Ham. Thanks very much for all of your commitment to the club, Winston. Come on, you irons. And thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so. I am going to be recording the preview for the Manchester United game in the Cup. I'm going to be doing that later on today and it'll be up by at the latest Wednesday morning. So thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you all soon.